Hey guys, welcome to the Google SketchUp. I'm going to be building a pallet coffee table and I figured I'd draw it up for you guys. I'm going to just do the uh, tabletop. This is the first time that I'm doing a uh, screen capture of what I'm drawing, so just bear with me. Um, we're going to start off by drawing just the top for right now. Uh, the top's going to be 20 inches by 40 inches. So you got your main, uh, just the box right there, and I'm going to rotate it so it's squared up to the screen, and I'm going to hit the extents button, and it brings it right up to you, and I want to rotate a little bit more so I can see what I'm doing, and hit your little measuring tape, and the longer sides are going to be three inches from, uh, they're going to be three inches wide. And then the right and left sides are going to be three and a half inches wide. And you can either do that by putting 3.5 or you can do three space one forward slash two inches. And it does the exact same thing. And you can just run up, grab your pencil mark, draw across, and you have your main border already set and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the center mark and draw a line straight down and go back and get my measuring tape and all my boards are five and a half inches wide so I can just uh, grab each little guide and put 5.5 .5 and it sets up I got three on each side so I just move over and do 5.5 .5. And then grab it again and do 5.5 again. And then I can go in with my pencil mark and go ahead and just fill them back in like that. And as you can see, the boards start coming to life. <laughs> so I can go around and delete all my guides off real quick. And if I can click them, actually. All right, there we go. And I'll just get them all off the screen. And as you can see, I've got left a border, and my corners down here are going to be half lap joints. Uh, so I got to figure out which way looks better. First, I'm going to go ahead and delete the these edges, and I'm going to leave this side. And what I'm going to do is actually delete these two. And looking at both of the sides, I kind of like my right side better how it looks. So I'm going to actually grab my pencil, extend that up, extend that down, and then grab the eraser, delete these two lines. And this is what the tabletop will, or I guess I should say should, look like after I get finished building the tabletop. And I'm going to try to raise each piece three quarters of an inch. It won't let me do it all at one time, I don't believe. So I gotta go through and um, raise each one three quarters of an inch. It's not a big deal, but if somebody knows a way that I can do the entire thing all at once, let me know. Um, it'll probably be make life a little bit easier so and you can do it by I guess either putting in point seven five inches and it goes up the same way or you can just do the three forward slash four inches and as you can see the tabletop um, has been uh, finished and as you can see if you look under on the underside it um, it's gapped underneath so that's the only problem with it right now I guess so I would have to redraw all these lines but you get the gist of what it looks like I wonder what will happen if I delete these lines right here oh that just so let's go ahead and undo the that erase Okay, so let's go ahead, make sure everything's nice and even still up on top. Now that's all nice and even on top. 
so I'm not really worried about the top. But that's what the top's going to look like. I'm going to finish drawing it up a little bit later and do another little session like this. Um, let me know what you think about it. And uh, hopefully I'll be doing more of these little builds like this where I talk during the build and then uh, I actually go out and build it. So uh, stay tuned and uh, remember to subscribe to me on YouTube.